every child of God on earth is a citizen of heaven. If you're watching right this moment, you're born again and you are a child of God, you are a citizen of heaven. The reason is that Christ, our Father, is in heaven. We were born in heaven. Christ is the second Adam, second and the last Adam, and he is alive, quickening the life, given spirit. We were born in heaven and sent to earth as citizens of heaven. But watch this, it is not enough to be a citizen of heaven here on earth. Now, if you look at the way some of these children of God, some of us believers live, we do not properly represent heaven. Our lives do not reflect heaven. That is because there are different dimensions, different categories of citizenship. And in this video, I want to go a little bit deeper to show you the different dimensions of citizenship and where you need to operate in order to begin to attract heaven's attention, in order to begin to manifest heaven in your country, wherever you are. So keep watching as we discover these dimensions. Welcome back. Now in the book of Philippians chapter three, verse 20, the Bible makes it clear that we are citizens of heaven. Our citizenship is in heaven. Now let us look briefly some of the categories of citizenship. Number one, we have uh, we have visitors. Some of the citizens you will find in a foreign country or your country are citizens of other nations that are in your country. They are just visitors who have come to visit family members and these are there for a very short time. We have tourists, some of the uh, some of the citizens of another country that you find in your country are just tourists who have come for some you know sightseeing. We have students. Students are also citizens of another country that can be found in your country. They are just there for the purpose of studies. And we have immigrants. We have immigrants. Immigrants are citizens of another country that have migrated for some reasons and they are settling there permanently because there is war back home, there is hunger back home, and so they have migrated to your country. And of course, they are different categories of uh, citizenship. Now, these are the, the uh, categories probably pursuing personal agendas, all right? They are there for their personal reasons. The visitors are there for their personal reasons. The tourists are there for their personal reasons. Students are there for their personal reasons. Immigrants are there for their personal reasons. So the agenda for these categories, uh, you know, is more of personal satisfaction. But then there is something that is more important. Now, if you are a citizen of heaven, you are just like, an, uh, like a visitor on earth. You're like a tourist, you're like a student or an immigrant. Your home country has very little to do with you. Your home country may not even know that you exist in that country as a visitor or as a student or as a tourist or as an immigrant. Your home country doesn't have any interest in you, so to speak, if you are. Um, an, a, 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 a citizen in another country. But watch this. If you want to be a citizen in a country that attracts or you want your life as a citizen in a country and attract the attention of your home country, this is the category of citizen that you should be. It is called ambassador. You must be an ambassador of heaven on earth in order to attract the attention of heaven. Visitors on earth, tourists, students, 
immigrants don't directly attract the attention of their home country. Their home country can come in if something happens, and if they have to come in, they go through the ambassador. The ambassador of Cameroon in the United States is a citizen of Cameroon, but while he is in the United States, he is representing the, the, the agenda, he is pursuing the agenda of Cameroon. He is representing Cameroon and his interest in that country is Cameroon. Everything he does in this country where he is as a stranger, as a citizen of Cameroon, he is fully representing Cameroon. And watch this, the, the house in which he lives, the equipments he uses are provided by Cameroon. So if you want to be that citizen of heaven who represents heaven properly, who expects heaven to uh, intervene, you know, in affairs that concern you, that citizen who expects heaven to provide the instrument and the equipment you use to represent heaven on earth, you must be an ambassador. And what does it mean to be an ambassador? Now, the Bible says, Paul speaking in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 20, that we are ambassadors of Christ. Now, that makes it a little bit different or deeper than Philippians chapter 3, verse 20, that says we are citizens of heaven. And so we have to define our citizenship. We have to define the way we function by represent, uh, properly representing Christ on earth. Whatever I'm doing on earth, does it represent heaven? Has heaven sanctioned what I'm doing? If the ambassador of Cameroon, the ambassador of Ghana, the ambassador of Nigeria in a foreign country undertakes some project, are those projects sanctioned by the home country? If you are properly representing heaven, you must be an ambassador to defend the purposes of heaven to defend the project of heaven here on earth. Heaven on earth is the kingdom of God that has to be spread all over the earth in the lives of people, lives of individuals, and to the nations of the earth. Whatever you are doing, whether you have a job as a nurse, you have a job as a taxi driver, you have a job as a teacher, you have a job as a medical doctor, you have a job as a lawyer, if everything you do does not represent the agenda of God, does not defend the agenda of God on earth, you are simply a visitor, you are a tourist, you are a student, you are an immigrant, or you have just a job visa on earth. But if everything you are doing represents the attention of God, then you are an ambassador indeed. And that's where heaven becomes very attentive to whatever that happens to you, and heaven is ready to supply the equipment. Heaven is ready to supply what you need. I encourage you. Now, this is just brief. We might be going deeper into some other videos, but then you have to make up your mind to represent heaven. You have to stand for heaven. You have to stand for the kingdom of God. Your, your, your job is for God. Your business is for God. Your salary is for God. You are just a manager. It's just like the house of the ambassador in that foreign country. The house where the ambassador, the ambassador lives belongs to the home country. He can be kicked out of it anytime he misbehaves. That place you are is not your own. If you tell yourself, I am just a custodian of this property that belongs to God, I'm just a custodian of this money that belongs to God, God will begin to show interest in whatever you're doing. Heaven will begin to respond to your activities here on earth. I hope this has blessed you. If you have any questions, you want us to go deeper, do get to me and we will talk more. Bless you.